In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. You are listening to Catholic Meditation this day, Friday, the 26th of July, 2019. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. The Church celebrates the Feast of Saints Joachim and Anne, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O Lord God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Sirach, chapter 44, verse 1 and verses 10 to 15. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 16 to 17. I read from the first reading. Let us praise famous men and our fathers in their generations. These were men of mercy whose righteous deeds have not been forgotten. Their prosperity will remain with their descendants and their inheritance to their children's children. Their descendants stand by the covenants, their children also for their sake. Their posterity will continue forever and their glory will not be blotted out. Their bodies were buried in peace and their name lives to all generations. Peoples will declare their wisdom, and the congregation proclaims their praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Become ideal and saintly parents. Become ideal and saintly parents. Today, beloved, the church celebrates the feast of Saints Joachim and Anne, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In celebrating today's feast, the church brings to our knowledge and for contemplation what family life should be, and the role parents play in making their children saints. Jesus had said, No sound tree produces rotten fruit, and no rotten tree produces sound fruit. Matthew chapter 7 verse 18 Come to think of it, does it surprise you? If Joachim and Anne are saints and lived saintly lives, why would Mary, their daughter, not be a saint as well? This is to say, family is important and parents play a very central role in the spiritual upbringing of their children. If you complain your child is wayward, certainly if you admit it, you had failed somewhere along the line because no child is born wayward. And ever before that child went out to associate with friends, and bad friends at that, for over 10 years, he or she grew up in the family. During that time, he ought to have learned, built a base, 
a very strong and solid foundation, then going out to meet friends, even bad ones, the possibility of still standing strong because of values he learned at home is high. Not denying the influence of peer pressure. But when parents are loose and their children become loose, the outcome is having children we cannot even recognize. Teach a child the way of the Lord and he will not depart from it, says Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6. Today's feast, beloved, glories family life, but more so the role of parents in the family and their role in child upbringing. The family is a nursery. The family is the domestic church and the family is the first school. Values not learned at home would be picked up from the streets. Just as every society and institutions too have their laws, so too every good family and home should have laws. Some homes are loose, just very loose. They have become cowboy holiday packs. The children come in and go out when and how they choose. They relate with whom and how they choose. Then they say they are free. Who cares if they sleep at home or not? Or are responsible or not? When the parents themselves are nocturnal animals, they keep late nights, come back drunk and irresponsible. Can your children see you and say they would like to be like you? Are you an ideal for them? Who cares about what friends their children keep these days anyways? Some parents even go to church, that is if they do, without their kids. In other cases, they are the children trying to pull and force their parents to church. Do they even pray together as a family? Do not mention that. What about family meals together? It is a lost value. Parenthood is much more than bearing children. Even children these days bear children. More important is raising the children. That is where the difference lies. Responsibility is not all about buying presents, go picnicking or vacations or spoiling them with money. It is about raising them up. See how Joachim and Anne brought up their daughter. It is even more challenging these times because the children are more exposed. So long as a child is a child and stays under his parents' roof, I tell you, they must be ready to toe the line, live by the rules or get out. Since they are big and do not want to be controlled, let them go have their own houses and do what they want. As long as they live with their parents and are under their parents' roof, they must be ready to abide by rules and regulations. Many parents, I tell you, beloved, have lost control over their children. Just how many children have gone wayward because of lack of parental care and guidance? Just how many children have lost and missed their vocations because no parent was there to guide them? Just how many children have lost the privilege of living with both parents because they are either divorced or fighting each other every day? How many parents even sit with their children and talk with them about what they dream in future, about their plans? Dear parents, you may think you are being nice or just letting your children free, but they would blame you someday in future should things not work out well for them. They would point a finger at you for your negligence and neglect which you mistook for being nice and letting them free. What is more, God will judge you harshly for letting them astray. Parents, rise up. Be like Joachim and Anne. Many of you, God has blessed with beautiful kids, talented, and many of them have great potential. Raise them responsibly. The challenge begins with you. Quarreling parents, fighting parents, parents with bad habits, keeping late nights, absenteeism. Learn always to talk with your children. Laugh with them. Make jokes with them. Let them feel your presence. The next Mary may just be chosen from your family. But how would that become or how would it happen? You must first make yourself of a Joachim and an Anne. 
That is what the first reading of today does. It praises our parents of generations past who did great work. It says their lineage will live forever because their generations will keep on and their children's children's children will be a blessing for them. Ask yourself, what is that lineage you are living? What is that generation that you want to live after you? Parents, let us pick up that challenge like Joachim and Anne. Raise your children. And I tell you, you have great potentials that God has given you. Bring out the best from your children. And just like Joachim and Anne did, you could just be the next family from whom God will choose the next instrument for something great in this world. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen.